And welcome everybody to an historic day in Syracuse football history. I'm Matt Park along with the Director of Athletics, Mark Coyle, and the new football coach here at Syracuse University, Dino Babers. Uh, great to have you with us. We'll hear from Coach Babers in just a bit. But uh, Mark, want to get uh, your feeling for just how all this uh, process went down. I know it's been a very uh, hectic uh, two weeks for you. How did you arrive on Coach Babers? Uh, you know, it has been a hectic you know, two weeks. And I'm so thankful for uh, Chancellor Sivrood and many others who helped play a big part in making this happen. Uh, from John Cunningham, Herm Frazier, uh, Floyd Little all were involved in this process and, and we're so grateful for Coach Babers and his family believing in us and coming to Syracuse. As we talked about before, Mark, uh, the leadership here is new enough in Chancellor Siverud and yourself that this hire is going to indicate to the community what you want in Syracuse football. So what is that and how is Coach Babers a fit? Uh, well, you know, I, I talked earlier on, we wanted somebody with uh, with tremendous honesty and integrity. And, and I think once you have a chance to spend time with Coach Babers, those two attributes come across really clear. And, and so that was the most important thing to me. You know, at this level, they, they're all good football coaches, but, but I think it's about fit. And, and I can tell you, uh, again, we were trying to find somebody who had a commitment to our students, but had a commitment to honesty and integrity. And I think we found a, a great match here in Coach Babers. Is this fun here now? A chance now that job is done. And now uh, it's a matter of uh, selling Coach Babers and his program. Yeah, no doubt. You know, I I again, we're so grateful that, that he and his family believed in us and believed in Syracuse. And, and I know he'll work incredibly hard to uh, to reengage our fan base and get them excited and, and make the Dome the special place that it can be. Okay, job well done, and uh, we look forward to what's next. Thanks so much. That's uh, Mark Coyle. And uh, Coach Babers, you got a guy here in your corner and many others. Obviously, it takes a big process and a big uh, community to, to pull all this together. What's it like when you come into uh, your opening press conference, you're introduced by a pro and college football Hall of Famer and Floyd Little? Well, it was awesome. I mean, I've watched Floyd play uh, during my uh, high school years and junior high school years in San Diego when the Denver Broncos used to come down. And uh, it's always a pleasure to have those type of alumnus who have such great tradition and they're known worldwide. It's, it's always a great honor. I think one of the th great things of, about your background coming in here is how varied it is. You've uh, tasted a little bit of everything. You've lived in all parts of the country, all different kinds of football, different head coaches that you've been under, and now a head coach at an FCS program and at a MAC uh, program, and now stepping it up to uh, the FB uh, deeper into the FBS uh, level uh, with a major conference program here at Syracuse and the ACC. How do you draw on all of that? I think all those experiences are going to be great. I think you need to be able to bridge the past with mm -hmm. the future and, and take the old school part of football and, and go across that bridge to the new school part of football, which is some of the things that we do offensively, but yet defensively there's a lot of old school in us. So I think all those things are going to work to our advantage and uh, not our disadvantages. Yeah, you uh, get to share a little bit of yourself and your family uh, during your press conference today. You're a movie buff, you told us. Uh, well, what other things? What what do you like about the, the game, uh, like about this campus? So what are the things you're interested in maybe exploring as you get to your new job? The One of the things I love most about Syracuse is their fine academic uh, reputation, and we're going to be able to take that and get some of the finest recruits all across the country. You put that in with the tradition that we've had and being able to bring that back and get the Carrier Dome back to what it was, what I remembered it to be, I think the fans are hungry, I think the community is hungry, I think the university is hungry, and I know that football team's hungry. You were an assistant at Pittsburgh for a time, so you've uh, been to a game here in the Dome or no? I have not. I didn't okay. get an opportunity at the, when I was at the University of Pittsburgh to, to come up here to the Dome. Okay, but upstate New York uh, for Buffalo, which has been in the uh, MAC here the last couple of years. In fact, uh, nowhere there, especially we haven't heard the story uh, yet this year, it was on that Buffalo trip your way home, right? You and your trainer stopped to help a motorist who had just been in an accident that's an incredible story tell us about it well it was you know 2 2 30 in the morning and we actually had a, a car come in from the right lane and was about to hit the bus and uh, the bus driver did a, an awesome job of slamming on the brakes so the car wouldn't hit us and the car slapped across uh, went across our face and went into the divider and uh, you know caught on fire and we went up we went up a couple of feet and the bus driver says i you know you know, can I stop the bus to, to help that person? I said, absolutely. I said, radio, we had four buses. I said, radio two, three, and four to, to go ahead because I don't want them to come into school any later than what they were. And uh, after he did that, uh, he stopped the number one bus, which I was on, and he started to get up. I said, where are you going? He says, I'm, I said, no, you're not. I said, you're the only one that can drive the bus. Mm -hmm. I'll go. So I got out, and uh, I brought my trainer with us, and we went down there and... Uh, 
and stayed with the young lady and helped her out of the car and, and, and stayed with her until police and ambulance and all those people could come. Well, I think if people uh, read up on the, the story at a deeper level, it shows a lot to me. It's the commitment to you because it's a, sort of going back into your past when you're on the other side of an accident, uh, maybe like that, and decision making uh, in the face of uh, some potential tragedy there and uh, all is well. I'm glad to, to hear that it worked out that way. Your players were very excited for you, weren't they, to come from Bowling Green to Syracuse. What's that say about the bond you had with them? You know, we're, my players back at BGSU, we were a family. We were a La Familia. We were Ohana. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's very, very personal. When I, when I get into them and they get into us, there's, there's, no, there's no lies between us. Mm -hmm. It's nothing but truth and everything is gospel in there. And uh, I would expect nothing less with uh, the young men that we have wearing the orange and blue. And we're going to get there. And when we get there, we'll start to be successful when we care about each other. Okay, last thing. Let's spend just a minute or so on uh, the X's and O part of it. I know you'll be learning your team. It's too early to ask you some of that stuff at this stage. One of the selling points of the team this past year was how much was done by youth, the production off the charts from freshmen, sophomores. When you come in with your system, how do you transition what we called express backs here to inside receivers? Or how, how do you go looking through the material to find out where they fit for you? You know, I find great pleasure in doing that. I've been able to do that at two different uh, institutions. And because we've done it well with my staff, we've had an opportunity to win early, to be successful mm -hmm. early, even though what should be a transitional year. But since I am a movie buff, I'll go to <laughs> the movie Apollo 13, okay. where uh, the carbon dioxide was going up too high in the spaceship or the, the the shuttle and they had that box they threw on the table down on earth and they said this is all they have up there and you've got to find a way to make it work to, to get that air clean so they can breathe up there and come back home and that's kind of what we do we take that young talent we take the old talent we throw it on the table and we're like okay now how can we make this work so we can have an opportunity to be successful as early as possible here at Syracuse University all right we like your status the, the from a standpoint of status Ed Harris, another line in that movie. We uh, like to see uh, just how the status in improves for you under your watch. Uh, best of luck. We're looking forward to it. All right. We're going to challenge each other on movies, Matt. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to, to keep up with you very long, but uh, one in the wheelhouse there. That's uh, Dino Bavers. Much more to come as he assembles his uh, staff and players. Uh, looking forward to it here. We'll be there every step of the way at Qs.com.